What's up guys, it's Oofily215 here, and today, Bungie is going wild with Halloween festivities all over the tower. The Festival of the Lost is active right now, and when you go into the tower, you will notice that it is all types of decorated up. Now, a couple of people that have got a change going on with them is the Cryptarch has a cube mask on, the gunsmith has changed from the robot into a human. Lord Shax is wearing a tiger mask. Cade Six is wearing an Eris Morn mask. And Eva Levante is wearing a Crota mask, I think? Now, once you come into the tower, the first place you want to start is Eva Levante. She's going to give you a quest to talk to everybody in the tower, and she's also going to give you a Legacy of the Lost consumable, which when you open that, it will give you a possible chance for Paper Glue, Jackalites, Flight of Shadows, Skull Mask, uh, random candy and paper scraps. So it goes without saying that Flight of Shadows and Jackalites are back. Now when you talk to Eris Morn, one thing that I was questioning is she gives you a tiny box of raisins that really doesn't have any explanation of what it is and it only gives you the option to dismantle it. So I wonder if that is going to be something you use with Xur possibly when he comes around. Now another change in the tower is if you talk to Tess Everest, she now is selling Legacy of the Lost consumables and she's also selling three new emotes, which one is Boo, two is Monster Dance, and three is Zombie Dance, which these are all pretty awesome. Now the question is, is are these going to be like a time limited thing, like they go away when this Halloween festivity goes away? I'm not quite sure. Another thing you'll notice is the Festival of the Lost sign is displayed dead center in the middle of the tower right above the bounty tracker. Now my one pet peeve about all this is, is if you go to the right side of the tower, there's literally nothing there. I mean, maybe I'm missing something, but none of the faction leaders or anything on the right side of the tower was decorated any differently. So it was kind of disappointing on that note, but this is definitely really cool. So get out there, Guardians, and play some Crucible, wear, wear some of the new masks that they give you, and kill enemies, and continue on these quests. Now, I just got these, so I don't know what these quests will end up giving uh, giving you when you complete them, but you end up getting three for each of those. So there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed this video I will update you if I find out any new cool information and as always guys, it's Oofily215. Peace!